Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. I figured it out. Our Thunderlord experimental power source overloaded our electrical grid. It looks like everything's fine now. Uh, Deej, we're we're live, so it's yeah. Oh yeah. That okay. Out here. Yeah. Here, take that take that away. That was a bad idea from the get go. Uh, welcome, welcome to another reveal event for Destiny: The Taken King. Uh, I'm Deej, and we are broadcasting from Bungie live in front of a studio audience. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here, and uh, please join me in welcoming our design expert for this show, James Sy. So tell us what you do at Bungie. Uh, yeah, I'm one of the design leads here at Bungie. I've uh, been specializing in strikes pretty much since the beginning of Destiny. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and that's been awesome because I'm a huge, huge, huge co-op player. I uh, love co-op games, and um, you know, getting to build these experiences with so many talented people has been really rewarding. Wonderful. Well, we're going to look forward to some developer commentary from you because that is exactly what we're going to reveal today. We're going to play one of the strikes that you're going to have access to on September 15th in Destiny the Taken King when it launches into orbit. So let's go ahead and meet the fire team that we're sending into battle today. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good so morning. Uh, please join me in welcoming our special community guest, Mr. Fruit. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself. Where can we find you on the internet? What are you used to doing there? Some, some know me as uh, Mr. Fruit. I upload videos on YouTube. Uh, it's not your usual run-of-the-mill videos. It's me just having fun, playing PvP. And this will be PvE, so we'll have my comfort zone. But yeah. Okay, well, we're glad to have you. And then uh, to your right, we have Claude Jerome. <laughs> Claude, you're one of the newer members of our team, so please tell us what you do at Bungie and uh, what you did on uh, The Taken King. Uh, yeah, so I'm a sandbox designer, so I help to nerf, I mean, uh, make a bunch of new cool ways for you to play your favorite classes. And uh, for Taken King, I helped wrap up the classes that we have, the new subclasses that we have, so we'll do a little deep dive on what their uh, cool new toys are. New Hunter, new Titan, new Warlock, mm -hmm. and we're going to get a good look at that today. Uh, and then certainly, uh, last and to the left, and certainly not least, my fellow community manager, Cosmo. <laughs> so with all those vault questions out of the way, you get to get your hands on a controller this week. You ready to rock? Ready to go. Ready to go find the Shield Brothers. All right. So before we launch uh, into this activity and before we take on those Shield Brothers, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to take a look at the Guardians that you'll be taking into battle today. So let's begin with Mr. Fruit. Tell us which class that you've selected, and uh, let's configure it for maximum justice in combat. <laughs> <laughs> I have taken the Master Race, uh, Sunbreaker Titan. I'm going to be rolling with a hand cannon, a sniper rifle, and uh, the subclass. We'll walk through it. Uh, first tier, I'll just show you guys what it is and wh uh, what I like the most. Fusion grenades from the Warlocks have made the return. I know. Classic. So many people <laughs> love those. Uh, the new the new grenade, the thermite grenade, it throws uh, a burning line of fire forward. That's what I'll be using. It's really fun to use. And the incendiary grenade. For the jumps, I'm sorry, Titans, no <laughs> blink today. It, uh, I'm still holding hope, but uh, it's your usual jump with uh, increased control, height, catapult. And then your super hammer of soul, which is Thor Simulator 2015. It's amazing. <laughs> Bring down the hammer. It, you just you throw out a fiery hammer. Uh, you have different perks. This one allows you to mo throw more hammers because who doesn't like more hammers? Simple decision. More hammers. More yeah, hammers this one, uh, sort of like shoulder charge, but this time you make them explode and fire. Yeah, so you can do it a bunch of times. Um, <laughs> Super fun. I will, however, be using this new mechanic um, called sunspots. And so every time I throw it, a sunspot will uh, appear on the ground, and I'll show you how that works later. Uh, my melee uh, sun strike for an enemy with a heavy solar melee strike. I'm going to be using Melting Point. Mm -hmm. This is, by the way, guys, start <laughs> using this super good. Yeah, your buddies will love you. <laughs> Use this on PvE and everything. Um, hit this with the boss, and it weakens him for everybody doing damage on him for a little mm -hmm. while. It's super good. Uh, thermal Vent, you can also, when they explode, create sunspots. So if you want to go to that whole uh, skill tree, you can do that. And Stroke the Forge. It's an interesting name. You can, uh, <laughs> stoke the forge. <laughs> oh, stoke. Okay, that makes a whole lot more sense. A little different. I was like, stroke yeah. the forge? Really, yeah, Bungie? Slightly different fantasy, yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, your, uh, your codex and uh, whatnot. Uh, next, uh, your hammer soul will uh, seek your enemies. Really fun for PvP. Enemies felled by your hammer explode. Chain of fire explode. Explode. But I will be using uh, enemies felled by your fire. Grant you bonus agility and reload speed. 
So using um, Hammer of Soul, suddenly you got all these stacks. It's super fun. Hasten by the flame. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Codex. Next, uh, when super energy is full, grenade melee abilities recharge twice as fast. So it's sort of a trade-off. You can keep your super, but if you do, um, grenade melees come back. So that's mm -hmm. up to you. Um, this one I really like for PvP. Um, killing somebody with a fire regenerates your health. So every time you kill someone with a hammer, it regenerates your health. And then the whole mechanic that I was talking about with the sunspot, when standing in a sunspot, you gain an overshield and your hammer still lasts longer. So I throw a hammer down on the ground, I stand in that and rain fiery death upon everybody. So you're so. totally building here for sunspots because you really love them here. Yeah, it, yeah, it's really good for PvE to you just hold down a spot. Even PvP like control, mm -hmm. I can see it being really useful. Yeah. So Artifacts. Artifacts. <laughs> and then lastly, the artifact, which didn't get a cover last week, I have the Radagast Blade. And so what it will do is it's not actually cosmetic. So on your, your character, you won't see it. However, as you'll see from everybody else, it, it does play into your character. And for instance, mine, solar melees have a chance to generate an orb when killing a minion of the darkness. So it works to your strength. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it comes with strength because it comes with stats. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right, Claude, you're up next. What yeah. are you taking into battle today? Uh, for my controller. Other one. Oh, great. <laughs> there you go. Yep, we're good. <laughs> there you go. It's good to see you. Yeah, so I'm uh, going to be running with the Hunter. Um, so this is my favorite new subclass. This is the uh, Night Stalker. It's the Hunter's first true support build. So we're going to look at this, take a little deep dive. Um, so first up, we have the grenades. So he's got Spike Grenade. Um, so that's a, that's a pretty fun one. It's a little tricky to use, but once you've gotten the hang of it, you can really set up some cool plays. Uh, it's got Void Wall. So this is the Hunter's new grenade. It creates this big horizontal wall that's an area denial tool. It's really powerful and really, uh, really fun to use. Really cool visuals. And a uh, good old classic Vortex grenade. So he's got a bunch of what we like to think of as trap grenades, so he can set up plays with area denial really easily. Um, for his jumps, we are going into higher jumps, so we get the super tall jump, uh, better control, and triple jump. I tend to go with uh, better control because I like to do the strafing midair kind of gameplay. Uh, it gives you some cool, tricky opportunities. Um, and then for a super uh, shadow shot, the Night Stalker will actually summon this void bow, uh, pull back a shot, and when it hits, uh, wherever it hits, it'll sort of build up, lash out, and grab a bunch of targets, slowing them, suppressing them, keeping them stuck. Um, and there's a bunch of fun little mods here for that. So sharing the damage across the tether, uh, lasting longer, being a little bit more reliable, and then quiver to shoot it three times, basically. So that's super fun. So you I round them up and we'll knock them down. Exactly, thing. yeah. So I'll go with black hole so we can make sure we get maximized round up, knock down. Uh, for his melee, we have the smoke bomb. So this is the hunter's new little toy here. He can throw that to disorient guys, blind them. And there's lots of new mods for that as well. So. Uh, Venom to double down on the damage factor of the smoke bomb. Uh, Vanish and smoke. This one, <laughs> I, I was telling, this one's my favorite. I love Batman. Yeah, and I'm so a it's like Batman a smoke too. pellet. It's yeah. fantastic. This one's super great for your teams. Like I said, the Night Stalker is all about supporting his team, so you can actually take you and your allies uh, visible with smoke bomb here. Um, and then snare, so kind of playing on the trap gameplay theme. Um, for your stats, I chose to double down on agility and recovery. It's my style. And since I'm going to be supporting these guys, I'm going to be running uh, Courage of the Pack, which is another way to keep supporting my team. Uh, Light of the Pack is another good way to do that. Um, and if you want to be a solo kind of guy and focus on Arid Nile, you can run Lockdown, which is a good way to double down on your, your traps as well. Um, and then over here, I'm going to be running Shadow or Shade Steps, so I can dodge a bunch around. And I, I love dodge. It's super fun. Makes me feel really agile. But the other options are Predator, which is basically another trap mode kind of thing and uh, Keen Scout, which gives me a lot more awareness of my environment. So. That, and, uh, that evade roll is so well, deadly in my hands. Pretty fun. Artifact. Oh, right. And, uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, good, good catch there. Yeah, so the artifact, I'll be running the Neural Bazaar. Of course, Bizarre. of course. That's Bizarre. my favorite, yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I just had one of those for breakfast, actually. Um, <laughs> so this one is, yeah, t totally doubling down on my Void skill set here. So Void Melees will give me a chance to get some orbs. All right. And uh, Cosmo, uh, you're uh, pretty notorious for playing as a, a hunter almost all the time, but today you're going to take one for the team. <laughs> yeah, today I'm going to be playing a warlock. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be playing a stormcaller, and uh, I don't know a ton about stormcaller, but so I'm going to pass the control yeah, yeah, to the here. subject matter expert and let him explain <laughs> all yeah, the details. I'll force feed. I'll force feed here a little <laughs> bit. So um, 
Yeah, so the, the Stormcaller is all about channeling the lightning through his hands and Emperor palpitating everybody, so like shocking guys down. Um, so for his set, you'll see a lot of the arc damage um, revisit, revisited here. So pulse grenade, uh, and then storm grenade is his new grenade, and that basically is like a pocket uh, storm. You can just point wherever you want, you'll throw a grenade, um, and call down a storm. It's super powerful, really fun to use. Um, so he's got glide. Uh, no blink here, but he's got blink in his super, and we'll, we'll check that out in a second. Um, Cosmo is going with focus burst here, so he wants a little initial boost of speed. Um, storm trance, like I said, call down lightning from your hands and uh, wreck guys that way. <laughs> Cosmo running what my, my favorite mod here, which is landfall, which is basically a way for you to float above your enemies, cast down a super powerful lightning bolt, and just blast a bunch of guys before you go into your storm caller, like storm trance stuff. Um, and a bunch of other tools here, so double down on the uh, chaining capabilities or blink. So this is a good mobility option for you just, closing you the had distance. To, you had to put it in there somewhere, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. everybody loves blink. <laughs> Thunderstrike. Um, just a quick charge melee thing here, and like this is uh, basically his his range. He has a, a high range with this, so um, it's basically a way for him to shot guys from afar before finishing them off. Bunch of cool tools here to enhance that. Um, Pulse Wave, and there's a cool team tool here. Uh, when you take damage, a bunch of your, your allies will get a bunch of speed boosts, so you can kind of avoid further damage easily. You set that up so you can get a speed boost, right? Exactly, <laughs> yeah, so we can all help ourselves. I see, I see what you did there. <laughs> speed back, good way to kind of to take the damage back to your, your opponents. Uh, transcendence, really good way to play with energy building here. Uh, perpetual Charge. This is a good way for you to play with like what you want to play, what your stats focus is going to be, or how you're going to recharge your energy. Um, Arc web is another great way to focus on your damage cap chaining capabilities. Um, and electrostatic mind is another good way to build your super faster. So this actually charges your super faster when you're near allies. So this syncs really well with uh, pulse wave. So I'll be sure to run energy. away from you. So <laughs> you got to stay close. I have to get yeah. all the kills though. <laughs> there you go. And don't forget your artifacts. <laughs> yeah. I uh, have the Heliopause bond. Oh, one more down. That's my bond. <laughs> I have the Tichuan Bangle. Mm. And uh, let's see, it's uh, melee have a chance to generate an orb when killing a minion of darkness. So that'll be great. Fantastic. All right. Uh, our fire team is configured and ready for battle. So go ahead. We've uh, set destination for Shield Brothers. So if you are go for launch, go for have launch. at it. Cool. And. They're on their way. So Donner as home. they make their way, uh, James, give us a sense of the tactical scenario that you've created in this strike. Yeah, so this strike's going to take you right into the heart of the Hive Dreadnought. Um, Oryx and his buddies aren't really great at making friends throughout the galaxy. So, um, you know, a couple of senior Cabal commanders, uh, Valis Maul and Valis Talern, are leading a invasion force onto the big ship. Um, this is a chance for Guardians to kind of take advantage of the chaos from this incursion, mm -hmm. go in there, take these two commanders out. Um, ordinarily, you know, I think the Guardians would be okay with the Cabal taking down a big hive ship, sure. but um, big hive dreadnought, but um, there's, you know, a lot of information, a lot of secrets in there that it still have to get extracted. And, you know, blowing up an entire system while you're in it, that, that's just not like a great Yeah, the outcome. Cabal can be a little sloppy with their combat tactics. And the Dreadnought is a loot-filled mm -hmm. fortress, so why not dismantle their command and hog it all to ourselves, right? All right, so they've touched down, so we're going to cut over to our fire team. Best of luck to you. Be brave. <laughs> we got this, guys. Thank you. <laughs> this we're is all new to me. When should somebody want to lead me? I'm Claude, lead the way, man. I shall. We're going to go this way. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> What way? I'm so this is the uh, this is the uh, dreadnought. We're the inside of here. It uh, seems like the enemies already kind of made their place. The solar system. What is this thing? To crash the ship, I don't like that. It doesn't look good. Oh, oh. no. Nope. Okay, does. is it fine? Is it fine? <laughs> what is this thing? We're totally oh. oh, okay. Oh. That that may, that that may or may not be. <laughs> That's All right, he's back up. Hey, we're, we're off with a bang. That's bad dudes. Great way to start. We're just warming up. We're building team chemistry here. I'm lost. That's fine. So yeah, we're in the we're in the dreadnought here. We're gonna be looking for the the uh, cabal ship that we're gonna try and strike. Oh, okay. I'm not I'm not seeing it. I don't see a cabal ship. Oh, it's coming up. We'll see the oh. the huge guys with huge guns and the huge ship. Is this it? <laughs> oh, I think it is. Okay, you guys shoot them. I'm gonna have fun running past them. 
That's how you, that's how you do these things, right? You guys just leave me behind. stick together. <laughs> okay, I think I made a mistake. Somebody come help me. A lot of Centaurians. There you go. No! Oh, you made me invisible, and then I got out of invisibility. Yeah. Yeesh. Okay, this is... Somebody wanna... I may or may not help. be... Oh. Hand in the corner here. He's got you trapped. Oh. He's chasing you <laughs> in the room. This is fine. I've, I've prepared for this. He's in the room. Nice. Okay. All right. So I don't think... No, we can't go through that. I think we're supposed to be this way. Yeah. We only got a few more guys to clean up here. Don't keep that. Uh, warm okay, up. this... I'm not... I'm not... You guys are doing great. <laughs> you are all good. And you left. You left. Okay. I'm, I'm joining Cosmo Claude. I don't know about you. Oh, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'll run past the Cosmo is the right idea. <laughs> Why fight when we can run Guardian? We can run pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> we got real good at running. Yeah. Those hammies? Yeah, get him in action. Yeah. Get some stretching going. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Okay. So as uh, they enter the hold of uh, the Cabal ship, let's talk for just a moment about how strikes have evolved with the rest of Destiny and the Taken King. Yeah, you know, strikes, they're an important part of Destiny. Um, we know players are going to run them, you know, time and time again. So we wanted to make that experience less static. Um, and, you know, this, this room they're coming up into um, is one of the rooms that has a variable encounter. And all the strikes now have like several combat setups where like you come into a room and you know like they might be fighting Cabal this time, they might be fighting you know Taken another time. They'll hear different dialogue. You know the enemies will spawn from different different locations. Um, so yeah, every every strike's going to be a slightly different experience. You know, and you, you'll play the same one a couple times and um, get a different oh. encounter. All right, so let's go back to our fire team and let's see how they tackle this first encounter. Well, we're going to tackle it one way or another. That's for sure. Will be the way we were supposed to. I don't know about that. I'm going left. All right, we got guys. <laughs> I'm going oh, wherever we got I got I see enemies. Okay. Yep. Here we go. I set up the wall. See when we're down. I'm glad you guys know what you're doing. Hey, what are you guys are only up there. What the? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> oh god. That's time. Ooh, guys, I found a piece nice. of candy. Nice. Arc lightning time. You already have your super. You're a legend. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He was hanging out. He was, we were holding hands. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Yeah, Teamwork. I forgot that's a thing. Great. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget your Vanguard training. All right, all right, I got this, guys. Back it up. Back it hammer up. Time. <laughs> hammer time. Hammer time. You <laughs> get a hammer. <laughs> so, you get a hammer. so good. So lovely. Oh, All those spots. It's oh. so warm. They're so warm and tingly, yeah. <laughs> space is a cold tingly. place. Tingly? I wasn't. I was <laughs> maybe warm, but the, I don't it's know. Cold what place in space. Man. You stroking the sunspots? I don't hey, know. Hey, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Easy. We just met. <laughs> <laughs> it's too soon for that. All right, let's clean these guys up. Okay. Getting some of things. What is this? I think thing? we're going this way. That's cool. I don't think these guys came very prepared. It's like, oh okay. god. Oh, that is <laughs> that is fire. Okay. Yeah, we must have stepped into the kitchen. <laughs> Watch out for the stove. <laughs> that, those hurt. Okay. Oh, okay. Now what is? Tank. Oh. We brought a tank. Ye old tank. That's cool. We brought Whoa. hammers. We bought a fruit. <laughs> we brought fruit. Yeah. Oh. They have a take. We. Oh. They and do not. They do not. I got Claude. I don't think they want the fruit. They can't handle the fruit. They can't handle the fruit. I'm just gonna sit back here and, and soak at it. Tether time. Look at that dodge. They're tethered. Going in. Oh, they're tethered. Oh. Great work, everyone. Look at that. What Look teamwork. That teamwork. Wow. Yeah. It's like we were trained for this, but we weren't. We were born for it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna imagine punching him isn't the best idea. The tank? Yeah. You can give a shot. Once you get hammers, I'll throw them at Hammers? Not yet, not yet. Don't get excited. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's not quite hammer time. I'm gonna take out these guys in the screen. This auto rifle feels great. This hand cannon is just. Just fantastic. Come on, I'm a long scout rifle. I've got my Seattle Seahawk hammer. Go hog. <laughs> okay, I have my hammer. Show, show me where the big tank is. Hard to hard to miss. <laughs> yeah, it's a little. Okay. Somewhere oh, back, in general. Everybody, community. get behind the fruit. <laughs> Here we go. Look at that. Oh man, I'm so good at that. It's so warm. It's so hard to press right trigger. <laughs> I tell you what. Wow. Okay, that was doing a lot more damage than I actually thought. Okay. We almost got him, yeah. I'm so keep bad. tickling him. Tickle him! Oh, 
Palpatine, you radical. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Come on. No more ads. Ah, oh, oh, there we go. It's going down. We did it. Web. Did Got we win? Everyone. Nice. I guess we can go home now. That's <laughs> oh, nope, it up. not yet. <laughs> Reach, man. Reach the command deck. Who's that? I don't know. No one brought a map? I thought you were supposed to bring it. They need to be stopped. Okay. Go careful. Think we go this way? Yeah. Okay, yeah. It, it, sometimes it's, it's, you know, it's hard to follow a triangle that's pointing me the right way. All right, we got more to do. We got taken over here. Whoa, what are oh these dudes? Look at those. Kill the ball. Kill the ball. <laughs> Some sorcery going over here. What? They just disappeared, too. No one told me they were bringing sorcery. Sign up for this. Take the Taken. Take the Taken, Guardian. Taken the Taken. Like Liam Neeson. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know where he was. Fruit has a specific set of skills. That's certain Taken. Right before. Oh. Okay. Wow. Look at us. Slaying things. Yeah. Weird. Weird. Woo! Pros. <laughs> I love you guys. I just got some I heavy just met ammo. Okay. So. Uh, as they explore deeper into this new destination, let's also talk about the fact that we have uh, promised that Destiny the Taken King is going to be a more rewarding experience than what a seasoned guardian might be used to. Talk to us a little bit about how that philosophy is also applying to strikes. Yeah, I mean, we want to get more generous and, and feel really um, like, like we're really rewarding the players and, and having them feel good about the time spent in strikes. So, um, you know, the bosses are going to have, like, you know, like maybe some Nothing. unique... Uh, exclusive gear that you can get from them, like, you know, a piece of armor or a weapon, you know, something that um, kind of shows, like, hey, I took this guy down, uh, really make the strike feel like a hunt. And uh, it's just one of the ways that we want to bring a little more personality to the bosses this time around. So. Okay. A treasure hunt, if you will. Yes. So I can look at a guardian, I can see they have a specific item, and I know where that came from. I know okay. where I can go to do specific activities to get specific rewards. Right. Taking a little bit of a guesswork out of a player's progression and gear acquisition. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Uh, so it uh, looks like they're ready for the next encounter, so let's go back to our fire team as the fight escalates. Did you guys know about that loot thing? Because I didn't. Because that, that <laughs> seemed so much it. helpful. Yeah. I heard about it somewhere. Oh. Well, maybe Game Informer. Shut your face, Claude. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> well, I'm a part of the That's lighting time. Team. Oh, time? it's not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Cosmo. We talked about I'll tell this. Them. I'll get you up while they're depressed. Don't worry. There you go. Colossus go. has got my name written on it. If I could kill him. All right, we should start coordinating our strikes. I have a hammer. I'm coordinating to you that I'm going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start throwing my hammer at everybody. Did you hear me? Hammer time. He's got hammers. Why not use them? I always, uh, that's my philosophy in life. I'm coordinating to you that I'm running away. <laughs> Valiant, noble man you were. Okay, I know not to punch that. I know not to punch that. <laughs> that might be different this time. You never know. This one looks kind of... Don't, don't tempt me, Claude. This, this one looks like a good one. Claude, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Death. Death is the worst thing that could happen, Claude. Well, this place looks neat. Ooh. Look at this. Places. Lighting <laughs> things. Yeah, so they're they're moving into the uh, the you know the final space here, moving mm -hmm. down towards the uh, the boss arena. Okay. And they're gonna encounter uh, Valus Mall here. And so these um, are the commanders that you spoke about before. Yeah, the right. Cabal commanders. So um, right away you're gonna kind of see like as, as I was talking about before, some of the personality we're trying to add to the bosses. We're gonna give them like you know interesting attacks. They're not just gonna be um, big versions of like you know like a dude that you've shot like you know a thousand times already in that strike mm -hmm. um you know and they will you know like just come out they'll have like cool patterns in, in their behavior um you leave him alone yeah <laughs> you leave him alone. <laughs> he's yeah. got what he's but deserved he's you can't help him anymore bullet yeah. sponges yeah. was one of the common critiques of strike bosses so you're adding a little bit more flair a little bit more variety yeah we don't want him to just be like this like poopy bag of hit points you know just like but like we want you to actually like like really engage with the, the boss and employ different strategies to beat him, so. But it looks like they've entered uh, an arena of sorts, so uh, we'll go back to our fire team and see if they survive. We've got some bombs over here. Yeah. Who's Mr. Fruit, you should check them out. Yeah, you, you finished There's bomb There's a school. bomb. What? You should check that out. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, sure. 
Yeah, we're crazy. just gonna stand back here. You yeah, take out it the looks bomb. dangerous. <laughs> My controller's yeah. vibrating, so this is this has to be safe. He's really good sign. No Android will help me. Reboot. Something's happening. They heard you. Oh. Oh, hello. Whoa. Oh my <laughs> body slam. <laughs> John Cena. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> John Cena. How did he get in here? You're in space. <laughs> I'm trying to falcon punch you. What's going on? What did we do? Whoa. Yeah, I don't even know this guy. Reinforcements inbound. Don't panic. It's just a ads. dude with large artillery on his back running at him. Flawless. Marmadol. I'll burn these dudes down. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Nicely done, sir. A bunch of ads. You guys are doing cool. great. I'm just going to stay over here and try to stay alive. If only we all had heavies. I feel like... I feel like if, I, if I had a heavy, this fight yeah. might be a little easier. Some kind, of, <laughs> some kind of weaponry that's just slightly more powerful. Man. Maybe next time. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Yeah. I didn't even know you could like, not have a heavy. Yeah, it seems yeah. odd. All right. Well, was, yeah, he's about to help. <laughs> top, top. It's, does he not realize this, this, is this, so isn't, bad. this isn't working? Yeah, this guy, Whoa. he's got to change it up a little bit. It's working here, a little bit. <laughs> I mean, oh, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's scaring me. And, okay, okay. Yep, he's scaring me. Oh. Oh. oh! He just wants to hug. Oh, he's hugging too hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want the hug. Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll melee him. This is a good idea. Oh, he, he left. He's, he's oh, he's, he's taking off. He didn't like the party. I was yeah. about to pull out the streamers. That's okay. Maybe next time. What a coward. He's just going to flee the fight like that? <laughs> What's the deal? Yeah, he's a little bit of a chicken. Um, but, you know, one of the kind of interesting things that happened while we were building this boss fight is that, you know, I, I mentioned two commanders, and, you know, we... we when we first built it, we had both of them kind of out at once, and we were fighting them and created this, you know, this interesting combat dynamic. But it also had this effect where, you know, the encounter kind of de-escalated over time. Like if you yeah. took one of them out, then things got easier. You guys, so, though, you know, we went to like th this thing okay. where they're coming out one at a time. Um, they're kind of like tag teaming you. Uh, and so this is about the big Warren. gun. <laughs> and you can see he's got a big ass gun strapped to his back. Yeah, he does. Okay. All right, let's go back to the fire team and see if they can scare this guy off as well. I, he's scaring me off right now. <laughs> I, feel like, I don't know. I feel like these blue circles are a good thing. You're never <laughs> safe. <laughs> Something seems good about these things. I think I stopped it. Good work. Okay. This, I know what this calls for. Me not die. Don't die. Right. <laughs> oh, you got hammer? Yeah, hammer. hammer yeah. <laughs> Woo. So much fire. So pretty. Uh, yes. Get him, boys. These. Oh, we got ads. Do you have hammers left? It okay. feels like you melee him. Feels yeah. like come here, come here. Some kind of heavy would be great here. Some kind of heavy would really. I mean, there's a lot of ads here, like boss yeah. man. Got to fall. Ah. If only. If only. Oh, he flees. What is he doing? Is he leaving? No, he's not leaving. No, he, he said he flees. Farewell. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. Come back. I guess he doesn't we, like streaming. Either. We can be kinder next All time. Right. It's the hottest. Whoa, there's another people oh, here. Yeah. I'm scared off now. Yeah, so, you know, I was talking about boss battle escalation earlier, and, um, you know, now they've fought each boss individually, and then the bosses you'll see are going to return as a pair, um, kind of reestablish that, um, that really intense dynamic uh, that we first started with. And, um, you know, they might have a couple tricks up their sleeve. Okay. All right, well, let's see. They're uh, mapping up all the ads. Back to our fire team. It's pretty clean in here. It's, <laughs> it's starting to get a little hairy here, boys. You know, I think, you know what would really help right now? I think, oh, yeah, maybe this will, maybe this does something. I don't, I don't know. What's that? Where'd I you do get this, from? do a few things there, like maybe <laughs> shield some things. Is that, is that how this works? This looks, seems like it would block damage. Maybe I should have been using this. Is that, <laughs> I don't know. Nah. Oh, oh look at that. You can't stop me. I have me. no power here. <laughs> okay. I don't have a okay, I'm out of ammo. Yeah. He has power. He has power. He has power. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't have a fire team. Someone give me some ammo. Right. All right, what's next? It's like a lightsaber. I'm out of it, apparently. Uh, they're both back. So. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. All right, let's focus this guy first. He's learned how to do his own fun fun spots. Oh, God. Oh, no. He learned from watching you. <laughs> Look at all oh, these hammers I'm missing. I'm doing a great job right <laughs> now. Into the Thunder Dome. Thunderdome! God, Cena! Reinforcements inbound. Oh! Yep, he's what are you the doing face. up there? He's just he's got a good view. Oh! There we go. He's got his Thunderdome up again. Alright, I'm gonna take care of some of these ads. Yeah, just leave I, him here I, with Don't worry, I'm just one man in this dude. It's yeah, fine, cool. guys, really. It's cool. Just yeah. leave him here by himself. 
<laughs> I, are you, you guys must be... I can't focus on the other dude because this dude has just got it out for me. Oh, you don't want to stand in the fire. Yeah, seems I, I, even I could have told you that one. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's punching me. He's almost He's almost down. We should just... Oh, okay. I don't know, though. You want to take him down? It's artillery. John Cena? Or... <laughs> yeah, Randy Orton? John Cena. All right, cool. He, just tickle him. Oh, yeah, John Cena yeah, down. Yeah. Oh, he exploded. There's yeah. rockets. They've gone elsewhere. Uh, okay, so... All right. Now, what do we do? Fight him in the Thunderdome? His brother picked him up. Dome. His brother is the ultimate warrior now. Ultimate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is oh, getting pretty raw. Though. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, he's tethered. Oh. Ooh. Okay, that's new. new I'm, hit, I'm him with the lightning. Oh man, oh, the damage is nailed. so real. <laughs> the teamwork is so real. <laughs> this is all so new to me. Try to clean the ads up. Oh, look at all these orbs. We didn't even need a heavy. All that. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna melee him so he's weaker. <laughs> Ooh. I got my got my super. Oh, okay. Hit him with and the hammers. Hit him with Wait, the hammy hit him with the hammers. <laughs> oh, eat. Yes. Ooh. More like ballast to dead. <laughs> hey, oh, look at that. Look at that. Good job, Mr. Fruit. Good job. Good job, everyone. High fives all around. <laughs> Woo. Well played. You don't want to say we crushed it. <laughs> <laughs> but we crushed it. With our fire team victorious, rewards earned, enemies defeated. Uh, talk to us, guys. Mr. Fruit, how do you like the new strike? Uh, clearly not what I signed up for. Uh, I was like, I'm ready for bullet sponges, <laughs> and that didn't feel like a bullet sponge, so... What the heck? <laughs> you think we'll be able to lure you out of the crucible a little bit more often with stuff like this in play in the Taken King? It, it did feel more natural. The fight, it wasn't, I need to find a corner to cheese mm. and just shoot somebody until endless, like, all that stuff. No, it felt like the fight had smaller mechanics, but enough that, like, once you learned it, you got the flow of the battle. Yeah, there's even like a little circuit we did to like run mm -hmm. around and yeah. take out the ads, yeah. take out the boss, take out the ads. Less places to hide and mm. sword. It gets a little yeah. chaotic with both of the bosses out there and then all the ads yeah. and you're running around. But you feel like a hero. Yeah. You feel <laughs> like a hero. So James, how does that measure up against your goals for the activity? Uh, you know, great. Uh, they seem like they were having a lot of fun um, and that's really the ultimate goal. Um, we get to show, you know, a bunch of different behaviors in the boss. You notice, like, the, the one Bond brother inherited the abilities from the other Bond brother when they d went down to the last stage. They had all kinds of stuff, you know. Um, and just overall, I'm, I'm glad to see, like, so many people embracing strikes as a part of the Destiny experience. Cool. Well, and this will be, uh, obviously, just one strike that people will find mm -hmm. in their director uh, when they play Destiny the Taken King on September 15th. Uh, what else do we have to say today aside from... Uh, Thank you so much to our fire team. Uh, Welcome. Yeah, come on. So, Mr. Fruit, Claude Jerome, Cosmo, thanks for putting on a good show. Thanks for having me. And um, it's, been our, uh, it's been our pleasure to host you this week. Uh, also, thank you to our live studio audience. Yeah. 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 So, uh, that concludes our show. Uh, We'll be here next week for the final uh, Twitch reveal event before the launch of The Taken King. We are just weeks away at this point. A uh, lot more fun stuff planned, but we'll be getting up on Twitch one more time, uh, and we will be holding court with Laced Up Lorne on board the Dreadnought in the Court of Oryx. So please do join us for that event. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to explore the new destination. We'll get a little bit more into Taken combat combat against a new enemy, and uh, we'll show you how you inst can instigate your own public events and earn some rewards in new and exciting ways. So that's all for today. James Sai, thank you so much for sitting on the uh, design desk with me. Yeah, thanks for having me down here. And uh, I'm Deej from Bungie. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Yeah. We'll talk to you again soon.